Good evening, uh, Grace Lutheran Church and school, all our friends, all our neighbors. We're so glad you're here to worship with us this Wednesday evening. Our liturgy for this evening is Vespers. And so we make our beginning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The common versicles of the church. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will be clear. text for this evening is from Romans chapter 3 verses 27 to 31. Then what becomes of our boasting? It is excluded. By what kind of law? By law of works. No, but by the law of faith. We hold that one is justified by faith apart from the works of the law. For is God the God of Jews only? Is he not the God of Gentiles also? Yes, of Gentiles also, since God is one who will justify the circumcised by faith and the uncircumcised through faith. Do we then overthrow the law by this faith? By no means. On the contrary, we uphold the law. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Unite. 
delight my heart to fear your name, that I may walk in your truth. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. This evening, we're finishing up in Romans chapter 3 with verses 27 through 31, the application of righteousness. We've been on a Reformation journey with St. Paul, in terms of the righteousness of God and how we are made righteous by God. And the key points of engagement are the law and, of course, faith in the gospel. So Paul returns to his engaging question and answer format as he builds to a key summary statement regarding law and faith. First question, are we saved through works or faith? Paul speaks here the boasting of the Jew who relies on the law. And such boasting leaves us with nothing. We can make no claim on God with our works. The law tempts us always to keep score, but unfortunately the score is always zero. The law tempts us to compare ourselves to others. Unfortunately, all who sin are equally guilty before an impartial and just God and left to his wrath. Faith believes no one is righteous from works of the law. Only those of faith are declared righteous by the grace of God through the redemption of Christ Jesus. Faith is not for boasting. Faith is for thanksgiving, for the mercy and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. So our Lutheran confessions in the formula of Concord declare this truth beautifully. Faith is a gift of God whereby we know Christ as our Redeemer in the word and of the gospel, and we trust solely for the sake of his obedience that our sins are forgiven by grace and accounted righteous and holy by God the Father, and we are saved forever. Paul has obliterated the law as a source of redemption and salvation. The circumcised Jew and the uncircumcised Gentile are declared righteous by the same faith. So where do we end up again in our Reformation journey? Back in confirmation, the function of the law convicts us of sin and judicially puts us to death so that the gospel may come with its promise, which is received by faith. Christ is the one who fulfills the demands of the law for us. It is only after we receive the Holy Spirit by faith that good works immediately follow as love patience, chastity, and other fruits of the Spirit. Good works are the work of Jesus through us by faith. Good works are only good if done by faith. Hence, faith does not overthrow the law. Faith upholds it. Faith in the work of Jesus provides a complete fulfillment of God's demand in the law. Faith is and always is in Jesus the only source of righteousness. The account of Abraham in the Old Testament provides the illustration, the documentation, and the certification of all that Paul has written. We only have a beginning with no end through the faithfulness of God the Father and Jesus the Son and we receive the righteousness of God the Father and God the Son through faith in Jesus Christ, faith created by God as the Holy Spirit as a gift of eternal life. So we close this evening with good Reformation news. 
The righteousness of God is not about our works. Salvation is totally dependent on the work of Christ, and salvation only comes to us through faith in Christ. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. The Magnificat, the Song of Mary. And dear friends, we're grateful for your love and compassion ministry here at Grace Lutheran Church. God's ties have a higher purpose than our comfort and leisure. Joyful giving surrenders to a greater person and an eternal agenda. The tithe affirms that Jesus is your Lord and Master as faith in action. The tithe dethrones me and exalts Jesus. The tithe breaks the enslaving chains of mammon. So may God bless you and may your tithing ministry be a blessing. Your tithes and offerings can be made via our website and our online giving form. Your donations can also be mailed or dropped off here to us at Grace Lutheran Church, 1200 Charles Street, La Plata, Maryland. We also ask you to use our online worship folders, fellowship folders, to let us know you're worshiping with us and for you to submit any prayer requests. That information helps us better serve you. If you have any questions, please call, contact, or email Andy Proctor in the church office, the operatory of the church. <laughs>
as taught by our Lord, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come to you. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, all just works, give to us your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Benedictimus. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear now the benediction. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the community of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Again, we are so delighted that you're here and being able to spend this time with us in God's word. We invite you back again every Sunday at 9.30, and we'll be here on Wednesdays also at 6.30. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.